Ugh. Can y'all not see that right now? This is a great start to a vlog. Hey guys, Avery here and welcome to a reading vlog. Mostly, mostly, mostly reading vlog. But anyway, it is currently Thursday. It's 2.51 in the afternoon and I got home from work a little bit ago since the office closes at 2. So I thought while I was still home alone for a little bit that I would share with you what I have been reading re here recently. To be fair though, I haven't read a whole lot in the past month, the month and a half because it's been the last month and a half of school for this spring semester. So it's been a little crazy and I've been working full time. So yeah, it's been, it's been a little hectic, but I finished my last exam last Saturday and it was French. We all passed all my classes. Everything's good. So, you know, there's that. If you want to get down, just come here. I'll pay you on the floor. Lilo, come here. Come here. She's like, um, no, look at her. Oh, now you're gonna behave. Um, the second book I'm reading is The Vanishing Stair by Maureen Johnson. I take the dust jackets off my books if you couldn't tell, but that's the second book I'm reading. And the first one, Truly Devious, was amazing. I love that book. I gave it five out of five stars because I adored it. It's so atmospheric, and you feel like you're at the school when you're reading it, which is something I really enjoy in books. But this is the sequel. So I can't really say much about it without spoiling it, but it follows Stevie who dreams of solving the Ellingham murder slash kidnapping that takes place at Ellingham Academy, which is the school that this newspaper businessman opened for kids who wanted to pursue like higher education that is tailored just to their particular interests, which is really interesting to me. Like I love it. It's amazing. And I just, I really love it. They're so good. However, not however, there's one thing that I hate. I don't, I don't hate it. It's kind of irking. But the relationship between Stevie and one of the other characters named David, I just, I, I, it doesn't get on my nerves. Like, I really like the relationship. And I like their interactions together. But certain things that happen, and they're so dramatic about it. Like, come on, guys, just get, just get it together. It doesn't have to be this dramatic, and it doesn't have to be this bad, but you're making it so much worse than it needs to be. I say that, and then, like, when I was their age, I probably would have done the exact same thing and freaked out. But as a 21-year-old, I don't know. I don't know. But I haven't finished this book yet, so I could like them. I like them now, but I could, you know, transport to the next level by the end of this book, but... We will find out, I guess. I'm 16 chapters in, so hopefully I will be able to get to finish this in the next week. But, yeah. So, the last book I have, I'm actually listening to on audiobook, and that is Sea Witch by Sarah Henning. This is an Ursula retelling, which, for all intents and purposes, sounds like it's going to be amazing. I love fairy tale retellings like The Lunar Chronicles or Heartless, which is both by Marissa Meyer. Um... This, though, I don't know if it's because... It, I didn't know this was going to be a series or a trilogy. I'm not too sure what it is. I just came across the sequel the other day when I was scrolling Goodreads. And I was like, what? I thought this was going to be a standalone. Clearly, I didn't know much about it. Because I just came across this in the Barnes Noble. And I saw Sea Witch. And the tagline on it says, Before she took the mermaid's voice, she gave up her own heart. And I was like, oh, sold! Because The Little Mermaid was my favorite, favorite, favorite movie when I was a kid. I watched it over and over and over again. And as you can tell, I still love Disney to this day because there's literally a Little Mermaid art print like right there. So I thought this was going to be fantastic. I didn't have super high expectations because it is a retelling and sometimes those don't quite fit my taste of the book. But I don't know. I'm listening to it on audiobook and I don't particularly like any of the characters except maybe Nick. And even him, I'm not that connected to. I like character-driven stories most of the time. Oh, sorry, I got a hiccup all of a sudden. I really like character-driven stories. If they have, like, I like them to be developed to where I can really know them and know the reasons behind what they do, what they do. You get a lot of reasons behind it. You get these flashbacks from, like, four years before when something happens that changes the characters for, you know, 
all the following years. So, like, I understand some of where they're coming from, but I don't know. I don't, I, it's like I have a disconnect between me as the reader and the characters in the book. Like, it doesn't suck me in as much as I would like it to. It's all right. It's not my favorite thing. I don't think it's going to ever be my favorite thing. Um, I'm definitely farther into this than chapter 16. I just don't think I've updated it since the last time I stopped listening to it because I have been listening to it on my lunch break at work. Um, I've been walking across the street to the park, which is really convenient, but also it's really hot. But I really like it. It's a nice little break from being inside the office all day long. But I haven't updated where quite where I am in this book. But I have probably like two hours left of the audiobook and I'm not 100% in love with it. And I see it going in a place where I don't like. I know that the main character is going to end up being like a villain character because it's Ursula retelling. Ursula is the villain in The Little Mermaid. So I know something's going to happen that's going to change this character. But I don't think it's going to be in a way that makes me want to feel bad for her. Like I get some of the things that are happening. I get why she feels a connection to this person and et cetera, et cetera. But I don't, I don't know. I just feel a disconnect between all the characters and I don't feel like they're as fleshed out as I would like them to be <laughs> for me to really enjoy them. I'm sorry for Lilo. She's just sitting on the corner of the bed and she's barking for no reason. Anyway, see which currently at maybe like a 2.5 out of or three stars out of five. Not 100% in love with it. The other two I really, really like so far. I think The Vanishing Stair right now is at maybe like a 4. And Crown of Feathers is like a 4.5. I don't know. I really like the two of them. Those are not going to be my ratings at the end because I haven't finished it yet. And the endings usually have a good toll on, you know, the book in general. Because all these events are leading up to the end. But we shall see, I guess. Um, but yeah, it's 3 o'clock or 3.02 and I've rambled on for like 10 minutes so I'm gonna go Lilo hello friend you're so cute cutie patootie anyway I think I'm gonna go do some laundry and start cleaning up a little bit and then I will read some and I will check back in with you guys later hey guys it is currently Thursday and it's not Thursday it's Friday wow I can't get the days of the week right Wow. Okay. Anyway, it is Friday. It's almost four o'clock in the afternoon. I have It's about five till. Um, I just got home from work slash shopping. I got up at 12 today as I do every Friday because the office closes at 12 and I decided to go to do a little bit of shopping because I go on a cruise in June and I just needed a couple bits and pieces. <laughs> I bought like a shirt and some other stuff but I figured I would show you guys that now none of it is books though so if this doesn't interest you you can just skip ahead it's fine um but yeah so the first place I went to was Ross and I got this cute little high low tank top shirt thing it has a little crisscross right here and I just thought it would be cute to wear with some like white shorts or capris or something and have that on the cruise i think it's really cute and i really like it a lot and it was also cheap because it was from ross so it was normally like 22 dollars, and i got it for 13.99 so that's always nice so the next place i went was tj maxx because they're right beside each other in a little strip mall um and here i got a little bit of makeup things um i'm really into makeup i like it <laughs> clearly as i say is i didn't wear any this morning I just, I, I didn't feel like putting it on this morning, so I didn't, so I gave my face a break. Um, and I found a couple of things that I think are deals. So, yeah, I'm excited, and I'll show you them now. So, this is the first thing I got. It's the Becca and Chrissy Teigen Glow Face Palette. This thing can be kind of expensive, because it's a Becca, and Becca's brands are pretty pricey. Um... But I got it for $19.99, which I think is pretty good. Let me see if I can try to open it. Y'all, this thing is, this thing is like brand new. It still has this little film on it. 
That's, oh, so satisfying. So satisfying. Oh my God. Look how beautiful it is. I'm so excited I found this for this deal. Okay, right, so it's definitely brand new. I am so excited I found this. It still has that little film on it. Hey, look, I'm filming with my phone and you can definitely see me. Hey guys. Anyway, it has that little film on it. I'm so excited about this. Oh my God. Look at that. Look at those colors. I am so excited for this. You guys have no idea. So one of the other things I bought from the TJ Maxx was some makeup sponges. I have one or a couple, but they're really disgusting now because I've been using them quite often and they, I needed some new ones. So I bought this one. It has three different ones. One has like a flat edge and one is like this and it has that tapered edge at the bottom and the other one's just normal teardrop shaped. So I bought some of those because my old ones were disgusting. So there's that. I also bought some eye makeup brushes. I bought these. Um, they're the bamboo natural ones. But um, yeah, it has just three different little brush things. Here, I'll flip it around so you can see. If you like makeup as much as I do, let me know what some of your favorite products are in the comments down below. I would love to know. Also, let me know what you use for skincare. I would love to know that as well. Um, I'm currently using a Clean and Clear Morning Burst face wash, and I also use this stuff. This is the Clarins Hydra Essential Moisturizer. I bought this after I came back from Europe. My skin was so dry because we back, mm, sorry, we backpacked for a month across Europe, and my skin just got super dry from like the. Uh, the wind and it rained a lot too and it was January so it was pretty cold so you know my skin got dry so I bought this stuff it just immediately when I put it on it feels so good on my skin uh anyway let me know some of your favorite skincare products as well I would love to know that and yeah I am going to go feed the dogs and then I will update you on what I'm doing after that hopefully I'll get some reading done and it's Friday so hopefully over the weekend I'll get quite a bit done as well so yeah, I really like watching the YouTube channel uh, Rage Loves for makeup stuff. I also really like Zoella or Zoe Slack. I think she just changed her channel name or maybe that was just Instagram. I'm not sure. Anyway, I love watching the both of them. Zoe's vlogs are amazing. I love them. And I just think Rachel is hilarious and I love her as well. But if you want to see some makeup -y bits from me on top of the book stuff, I would love to do that because I have a mixture of everything because I watch both things. Hello. Look at that sweet face. Hello. You sleep good. Are you still trying to sleep? <laughs> oh, you're so cute. Your little paws are adorable. <laughs> She's trying so hard to ignore me. <laughs> Cutie pa. Good morning, guys. It is Saturday and it is currently now I'm 48. Um, I've been up for a while, but I have been just catching up on some YouTube. So, yeah. Um, today's plan is to do a little bit of cleaning and a little bit of reading. My closet is <laughs> over there and I need to go through some of the clothes in there and kind of switch out like more summery clothes versus the winter stuff. Obviously all the shirts hang in the closet either way, but you know, the shorts I have stay in the bottom of where I keep my pants and stuff. So I need to put those on top and kind of switch things out a little bit to make it easier to grab some clothes so I'm gonna do that also this bookshelf behind me has a bunch of just like um crap all on the top some of that stuff stays there but I need to organize it a little bit and I definitely need to dust it off hey guys oh <laughs> sorry if you could hear that Lilo just like full-on sprinted <laughs> into the room I know I said that I was gonna go clean and then get a shower but I figured I would update you guys on where I am in the books I'm reading. 
So I know yesterday, I think it was yesterday, I told you guys that I was listening to Sea Witch on audio, and I am, but I hadn't updated it since the last time I'd stopped listening to it. So I figured I would do that for you now. So I'm on chapter 25, and it's about 233 pages into it. I have about 100 pages left. So <laughs> despite the fact that I'm not 100% in love with it, I'm going to push through and finish the last 100 pages and see what I think about it at the end. So, yeah, I think I'm going to listen to it while I clean this hot mess of a shelf or shelves off. I need to dust them because they're black and I can see the dust and it's driving me crazy. And also, I just need to get, like, water bottles and all of my inhalers and the, like, vitamins and allergy pills and ibuprofen and stuff that I have on top of there. Like, I need to put it in the bathroom where it's supposed to be. <laughs> and just, you know, do a general cleanup of everything. I also would like to point out the fact that I do have coffee. No, it's not completely, well, it is black. I drink it black, but it has sugar in it. So it's not straight up coffee. I can't do it. It's too bitter. But yeah, in my Disney mug that I got at a craft show. Yay! Anyway, I need to stop being weird and actually go do what I said I was going to do. And maybe my dog will stop barking when I vlog. We'll see. Right. So, I have now cleaned off all the stuff that's not supposed to be there. I have my mail shoved over there. Over there. I can't. I cannot today. Over there. Um, most of it I've dealt with already, so I can probably throw it away. Um, and yeah. There's now a bunch of crap on my bed. I essentially just moved the mess because I need to figure out where I want everything to go. So yeah, I'm, I'm starting to have a lot of stuff and nowhere to put it. But it won't matter when I move out in like two years-ish. We'll see when I graduate from college. So I don't know, I guess I'll find somewhere to shove it. And yeah, so I need to clean that off now. But also, I am now going to start the process of taking all of the books and stuff off of my shelves so I can clean them off slash dust them because they are gross and it's getting on my nerves because I can see it and it bothers me in true Monica Geller fashion. It bothers me, so now I got to clean it because I can see it. Anyway, I am going to go do that now. Okay, so before I get to taking these off the shelf, I would figure, I would, I would figure, that's not even a right sentence. I figured I would show you some of the stuff that I took off the shelves and some of the stuff I have that are on there just to decorate it. So, yeah, some of the things that I had sitting on that shelf over there is from the owl crate that came in the past month. I haven't put it up yet because... Funnily enough, on the day that my owl crate came, we were supposed to have really, really bad thunderstorms and slash, slash, um, tornadoes. So the exact moment that I opened that box and dumped everything out, I didn't dump everything out. I take them out one by one because I'm too particular to just dump it out. I'm not that careless. But as soon as I took that book out of the bottom of that box, the power went out. And then I freaked out because I was home alone and I was like, oh my God, I'm going to die. There's a tornado. There wasn't. It was fine. I'm just being dramatic. Anyway, so some of that stuff has just been sitting there because I haven't put it up yet. And also files were the past couple weeks. So I have been maximum level of stress. So now it feels good to clean everything because I've been freaking out for the past like month. Also, if you can see this little red mark on my neck, that is from where the, the cat that our stray cat, whose name is Tink, she is in the bathroom because she had cat babies. She has four kittens. And last night she tried to escape the bathroom and I tried to put her back in there. And when I picked her up, she like just one claw just like got me in the neck and it hurts. It stings. If you've ever gotten scratched by a cat, you know that it, <laughs> it does not feel good. Getting scratched by anything doesn't feel good. But that's what that is. I just wanted to clarify that in case you saw that and you're like, what is that? <laughs> Anyway, back to what I was originally doing. Lilo came to visit. Say hi. Hey. Oh, 
oh, oh. <laughs> I love her. She is the cutest. Also, this is normal for her. If Casey didn't realize, she's part bird. So she literally, every time you hold her, she just wants to lay over your shoulder. Look at her. She's living her best life. She's like, what are you doing, Mom? What are you doing? Anyway, so just some info on Lilo since she decided to make an appearance. She is a Dachshund puppy, and she is about four and a half months old. She was born in December on the 22nd, right before Christmas. So, yeah, I got her in at the end, uh, middle to end of February um, when I came back from backpacking in Europe for a month. Right, I'm back. So the first thing that I had on the shelf was this little pop socket and it says plenty of monsters knew how to play at being human. I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly that this is from Illumine or I don't know if I'm right. <laughs> I feel like I'm wrong. Anyway, I don't have the spoiler card anymore because I, after I read it, I throw it away slash burn it because we burn like sticks and stuff outside for like a bonfire. So I burned the paper in it. Anyway. So I think this is from Illuminae. Or something with Jay Kristoff. I'm not entirely sure. This is a pop socket. I clearly haven't taken it out of the packaging. Because I don't know where to put it. Because my case on my phone is floral. So I don't know what to do with this. Maybe in the future I'll use it. Or I'll give it to someone who will use it. But it's bookish related. So I don't know. <laughs> Or I'll keep it and use it when I actually have a phone that will match this. Who knows? The next thing I have that was up there is the this note from the author for Crown of Feathers. This didn't come in this past month's box. I think it came in March's box, I want to say. Yeah, I think it was March. So that was the map that was in it. I took it out because I stick these in the front cover. Like, as soon as I open it, I stick it right there in the book. But I'm currently reading Crown of Feathers. So, I took it out because if not, it would fall out. But it is so beautiful. So, so, so beautiful. I love it so much. And then on the back, it has the letter. So, there's that. The next thing, this did come in last month's box because it was Wicked Saints, which is up there. It is a beautiful book. Like, I'll get it in a second. When I take all the books off my shelf, I'll kind of show you what I have and what I don't. Not what I don't. I'll show you what I have. But this is a little map tapestry thing that came with it. It's beautiful. And it's, like, shiny. So, I love it. It's beautiful. I love the soundtrack for The Lion King. I would just like to point that out while I can hear it in the background. It's so beautiful. Oh, the next thing is really exciting, despite the fact that I can't read it yet because I haven't finished Legendary. But this came in the Alcrate as well. This is a chapter sampler for Finale, which I think just came out on the 7th. I just read Caraval like a little couple weeks ago in March. I read it in March. I listened to the audiobook and I love it. It's so good. So it's narrated by... Rebecca Soler, I think is her last name, but she's the same girl that narrates Nova's perspective on the Renegades series, and it's so good. She does such a good job. She's one of my favorite people to listen to on audiobook who narrates. They're so good. So I highly recommend, if you're looking for a good audiobook, the Renegades ones, Illuminae Files, I've heard are good. I physically read those. I didn't listen to them, but if I do a reread, I will definitely listen to the audiobooks for the next time. But also, Carval, Legendary, Finale, those will all be narrated by the same person. Carval's was really great. I loved it. And I have this chapter, chapter sampler for when I actually read Legendary, but it won't be as exciting because the book's already out. But I highly appreciate this. It's, it was great. And I'm pretty sure I have the one for Legendary because I think a year ago when... My first Owl Crate came, it had a chapter sampler for Legendary. So I have that as well. So yeah, so that's that. The next thing I have, and the last thing I have that was on my shelf from the Owl Crates, because everything else I've already put up, is this little notebook thing. I love this. It is beautiful and it flips up. Like, 
up, which is great because I don't know why it's just very, a lot more helpful because you can just flip it over like that and it's, you know, you're good to write. <laughs> I'm doing this like you guys don't know what a notebook is. Anyway, but it says this witch had been crafted from the darkness between the stars. And that is a Sarah J. Mass quote. I love Sarah J. Mass. I love all of her books. The only book I haven't read by her yet is Catwoman because I haven't gotten to it yet. I honestly forget that it's over there on my shelf because I have these bookshelves and then I have one up above my desk over there that's short and it has all my contemporary romance slash short books that fit up there. They're mostly contemporary and new adult romances. So apart from the first three Outlander books, which I put up there because my mom loves that series, but I haven't read it yet. Maybe one day I will, but they are huge and they're the tiny ones. So this, the, not the tiny ones, but they're like the paperback ones that are shorter. And this, the text is so tiny. Not that that's going to defer me from reading it, but I'll get to it eventually. I'm just, I haven't yet, <laughs> but I love this. It is beautiful. Ugh. Yeah. So that's the last thing of our crate stuff. And that's the last thing on my shelf. So now I'll go show you what is actually on my shelf and I will get to taking those off so I can clean it and stop talking for like 15, 20 minutes. I don't know how long it's been. It's been a while, <laughs> but I'm going to go now. So these are what my bookshelf looks like. I'm sorry if you can see the dust. Like I said, I need to dust it. You definitely can't see the dust. It's disgusting. I'm sorry for the glare that you can see me in. I have... It's really overcast and rainy today, so I have my real light on because you can't see anything otherwise. But yeah, so all of this stuff, if someone knows what that is, that is our favorite baseball team in this house. That, And I'll just go through some of the stuff that I have as I get to it. So yeah. Let's see. Ignore all the crap, I'm still cleaning. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Hello, Lilo. Mm -hmm. Hey, Steve. You sweet girl. Please lay down. Pick somewhere. There you go, you sweet girl. So I just finished Sea Witch. It was not the greatest, I'm not gonna lie. I gave it two out of five stars if that tells you anything. But yeah, I have a full written review for it on my Good Goodreads page that I will link down below for you guys if you would like to check that out. And all I have to say is I just didn't find the plot very interesting and I also found the characters to be very one-dimensional, so I didn't. I didn't love this as much as I thought I would because it's an Ursula retelling or not retelling but origin story and I thought I would really like this and I just didn't. I'm really sad about it. I really wanted to love this but and I'll talk more about this in my month. May. It's May. Oh my god it's May. Oh, where has the time gone? But I'll talk more about this in my May wrap up. So I'm going to probably pick up the Vanishing Stair next since I have about 100 pages left of that as well. So yeah, I think I'll do that and then I'll dust off my bookshelves eventually today. I just still haven't gotten to it. I'm the worst. I know. I'm sorry. I just started. I, just, I don't know what happened. I was listening to the Sea Witch audiobook and it just, it just didn't get done. But you know, we'll get there eventually. Also, sorry if you can hear the rain. It's absolutely pouring outside and... I'm not gonna lie, I love it. I love the rain. But yeah, I'm gonna go. So I have started the dusting process. So I cleaned everything off the top and wiped it down. Oh, it's a little bit of wet, wet spot right there. Um, so I kind of shoved some things in some spaces while here are all the books that I've taken off this block and 
this block so far so I could clean them off and let them dry for a second so everything's not all over my bed at all at once not that there's anywhere to put anything because they're all right here but yeah these are the books that I've taken off so far minus uh crown of feathers that was already there because I'm reading that right now but yeah all of my Percy Jackson books um Percy Jackson and the Olympians the original series and then there's the Heroes of Olympus which I haven't finished yet so please don't spoil it for me I read up to the Mark of Athena I haven't read the House of Hades or the Blood of Olympus yet and I haven't read any of the other Rick Riordan books yet but yeah there's stuff literally everywhere but yeah so I have begun the process also don't worry I'm not using any harsh chemicals on my pretty black bookshelf I just have a wet rag <laughs> to just kind of get all the dust off but yeah so I will continue to clean and update you in a little bit so some of, some of the things that I have that are just that kind of sit on top of my bookshelves up here is my jewelry box that has just some stuff on it my old name tag from working at the Y and some bracelets two of those were handed to me on the street while we were in Rome um, those are the earrings I wore as a bridesmaid in my brother's wedding and just all of my jewelry and stuff is in there so that goes up there um, this goes beside it. This is my wand that my sister got me when she went to Universal. It's Lupin's wand, as you can obviously read. Um, Lupin's one of my favorite characters. I love him from the Harry Potter series. So let me get this open. And I, this is hard to do with one hand. I'm not going to lie. Okay. Okay. Struggles. Ah, there we go. Right. So... This is what it looks like in the case. I honestly forget I have this half the time, but I do. I love it. I love it so much. Lupin's one of my favorite characters. I don't know why I love him so much. I just do. But yeah, that's the one she got for me while she was there. She has Luna's one, I believe. I still haven't been to Universal. I'm so jealous that she went without me. But I'm glad she brought this back for me. Right. So that goes up there as well. Um, so does this. I got this in Disney when we went last Christmas. This is Pua from Moana. He's precious and cute and soft and I love him. This is from the Braves game that my parents went to last year with my brother and sister-in-law and they brought this back for us because we are Braves people in this household. Then I have this which was gifted to me for Christmas by my brother and sister-in-law. But they were just dating at the time, but I love it. It's glittery, and I love this. It's, oh, I love it. Obviously, I love Ariel, because <laughs> I have art prints up there as well. This is from my high school. They throw these at you at the football games, and this is really dusty and gross, but I still have it. This came in one of the past hour crates. It's a quote from The Cruel Prince, and it says, uh, I like for things to happen stories to unfold and if I can't find a good enough story I'll make one and it's just this little tin thing and on the back it says I am a mere mortal and you are a prince of fairy you have much to lose and I have nothing oh man so I'll show you what's inside if I can in a second when I get it open and yeah there's a picture over there but it has kids on it from my YMCA counseling days but this I can show you I don't want to show you that picture just in case someone's parent yells at me, even though it's still not worth it. All right, you might see it in the background sometimes. But this, I got my senior year of high school. This was made for me by my AP English 4 teacher. She put your first initial, so my name's Avery, so she put an A on it, and A is for imaginative. She would put a describe um, adjective on there to describe you. And mine is imaginative, and on the back, she wrote characterized by or bearing evidence of imagination finished writing your novel happy graduation so I love this it's one of my favorite things ever because she would read um the beginnings of one of the books I'm writing because I have three at the moment so 
That's why she wrote finished writing her novel on it. And I still talk to her to this day about it and it's great. So this goes up there as well. So this is what the inside of this looks like. It says sharpen your blade, harden your heart on that. And I don't know if I mentioned this before, but this is from the Cruel Prince. So there's that. This is a little mirror that I still have in the pouch from a past owl crate. This bracelet is from the Taylor Swift Reputation concert that I went to in Atlanta last year. And I have a bunch of the buttons and things. And a ring that came in a past owl crate and a keychain. But mostly the old, you know, pins before they changed to the enamel pins. So yeah, that's what's in there. If I can put this back on there. Okay. So this is my Harry Potter shelf. I only have these versions and down on one of the lower shelves I have the illustrated editions but they don't fit on this shelf. These little guys, I except for the Lego ones, but the Bellatrix and Fox through Scabbers slash the Chocolate Frog. These were gifted to me by my Secret Santa this past December, so they went up here because I didn't know what else to do with them. This guy and this guy came from Universal or slash Legoland when my sister went to Universal about a year ago. Um, so I built them when, after she bought them for me and they're adorable and I love them. She also got me this one. This is the Flash from the... DC comics slash the TV show with Grant Gustin, which we both love, so hence why I have a flash. I'm pretty sure she has one too, so he's cute. He goes on my Percy Jackson <laughs> so shelf though. I don't I don't know why. He just he just goes there. He's cute there. I like him. But yes, yeah, so that shelf is now cleaned and put back. This shelf is cleaned and put back. Also, these are all my bookmarks that I have in a British flag mug. I love London and I went there this past year for when I was in Europe for a month and I loved it. Ugh, I loved it. This is the next shelf. I haven't read these yet. I've read these two. I won't read this because I have an unpopular opinion and I don't really like this trilogy. But I have these as well. <laughs> I've tried to read both of these and just haven't finished them. I don't know if I will pick them back up or if I'm done with them but yeah haven't read this yet haven't read this yet but they're there for whatever I do so I'm gonna put this shelf back and then get to cleaning some more this is the next shelf you can't quite see it because it's a little dark right there but it's six of the six of crows duology and then truth witch the gilded wolves wicked saints four dead queens and amber and dusk so these four, the four at the end, came from an owl crate. The other three I bought with my money. I haven't read Truth Witch yet, and I haven't read anything but the duol the Six of Crows duology, which I love, despite the fact that I don't really like the Christian trilogy. But this is also kind of the shelf where I put things when I don't know what else to do with them or where they should go at this point in time. So that's that. The shelf under it, it has my fairy tale collection, and it has the Edgar Allan Poe illustrated edition and a collection of um fairy tales by Hans Christian Andersen which you know wrote The Little Mermaid and then I have Pride and Prejudice and I have Les Mis so this is kind of becoming my classic shelf because if you didn't know I'm an English education major so I will be teaching high school so I have a classics collection going on right now and yeah also this goes on the shelf but I figured I'd give you a close up. It has some pictures on it of things that I like. So yeah, I made this for my interview for the Y for my third summer, I think my third and last summer. So there's that. So I just finished cleaning off my bookshelf. So now that it's done. So I am going to watch some YouTube slash read slash watch netflix i'm not entirely sure yet $10 hello Lilo. and on top of that they created hey. a really exciting offer for the first 500 <laughs> people who sign up you <laughs> i love her if you couldn't tell 
Hey guys, good morning. It is currently 9.45. I've been up since about 8 o'clock, but I just haven't vlogged yet. So I have had coffee and I've been catching up on some YouTube still and just doing a general chill out and wake up for the morning. It is Mother's Day, so I don't know how much I will vlog today because my brother's coming over at lunchtime to just kind of hang out with all of us. So, but for now, I just thought I would update you because I didn't get the chance to last night. I actually ended up going out with a friend to just, you know, hang out and have a little chat. So I didn't get back until like midnight and I didn't want to vlog. I wanted to go to bed. So that's what I did. I haven't read any of The Vanishing Star yet, obviously, because I was planning on doing that after I got out of the shower last night. But my friend texted me, so I just ended up going to spend time with her. So yeah, so today's plan is to read a little bit of The Vanishing Stare and then see what else happens today. Hey guys, it is currently 6.16. It's the evening. It's been a while since I have updated you guys, but today has been kind of full of family because it's Mother's Day. So my brother is here for a little bit, but he just left and... So I figured I would tell you guys what has been happening for the last hour or so or just kind of give you an update on the day. So it's Mother's Day. I don't know if I mentioned that before. I definitely probably did. But anyway, if you didn't know, it's Mother's Day. So my brother came over here and we just kind of had lunch and we played some games. By the way, if you play Uno with your family, you know that things get real and, you know, you gotta stop eventually or else <laughs> it's just not gonna end well. It was fun though. I mean that jokingly, but yeah, so we played Uno and we played some Yahtzee. Um, and now I'm sitting here trying to finish the last little bit of the Vanishing Stare. I am on page 330, so I have about 30 pages left and everything's starting to fall into place. And it's getting so good. But yeah. So I'll definitely finish this tonight, and in a little bit, when I do finish it, I will update you and tell you my general thoughts on it. So yeah. <laughs> oh, Lilo and your overbite. You're so cute. <laughs> hey guys, so I just wanted to check in and tell you guys that I have now finished The Vanishing Stare. And I really, really enjoyed it, like I thought I would when I actually finished it. But I gave this book 4 out of 5 stars, and wow, those last two pages really, really messed me up. I kind of figured, not figured it out, but I kind of wasn't surprised at the reveal that happens in this. But the last two pages, there's something that happens that I was not expecting. Like, obviously, I knew something was going on with these specific characters. But I didn't think that was going to be the end game. And oh my gosh, man. I want this. I want the next book. Like, yesterday. <laughs> I needed it yesterday. But now I have to wait until it comes out. Oh. But if you haven't read the series, I highly recommend it. It's so good. And I am the type of person that really likes criminal tv shows but i don't really read like murder mysteries all that often until i saw emma books really raving about truly devious and i was like why not try something new because i was in kind of the reading slump at the time i read truly devious gave it five out of five stars i loved it they're so atmospheric and they're so addicting it's like you can't stop reading them i just love them but oh I have so many questions now, but yeah, so I gave this 4 out of 5 stars, really enjoyed it, and now I have to figure out what I want to read next, because despite the fact that I have finished two books this weekend, I am still trying to figure out what I'm in the mood for, but those are so good, oh my gosh. So, to recap this weekend, I finished Sea Witch, which I didn't really like, and then I finished The Vanishing Sarah, which I really loved. So I guess you get a little bit of both in this reading vlog. Seriously, Lilo. <laughs> She's so mad. But anyway, I'm still currently reading Crown of Feathers as well. 
but I don't feel like I'm in the mood for that. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll pick up Finale and so I can get to, not Finale, um, Legendary. Maybe I'll listen to that on audiobook and then I'll be able to read Finale, which just came out. So, yeah, but I don't know. I'll let you know, guys know what I decide. So, I think I'm going to either start Wicked Saints or Four Dead Queens. Clearly, I have a theme for red and black, apparently, at the moment. But these are both the Alcrate editions. I freaking love this cover. It is beautiful. Ugh. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Ooh, Stephanie Garber did a little blurb on the back. Destroyed me and I adored it. Wow, sounds promising. Also, I've um, seen a lot of people kind of talk about this, so this is something that's kind of been catching my eye on my shelf. Oh, it's one of those jackets that, like, you get your fingerprints on, almost like the um, Three Dark Crowns books. They have that texture that shows literally your fingerprints on it. But the other one is for Dead Queens. This is also the Alcrate Edition. And it has deckled edges, which I really like. I think it kind of gives it like an old-timey look. But, yeah. Oh, I forgot that was in there. Oh, see, this is why I take the dust jackets and the letters that they give us in the Alcrate out of this before I get them. But this one's just naked. Or it's blank naked, anyway. This one has a beautiful, like, oh, look at it. It's so pretty. But, yeah. So, I think I might pick up one of these while I also try and finish, excuse these socks. I need to find the matches for them, but they are still in the washing machine. So, maybe I'll also read a bit of this. I'm a good chunk of the way through this, so, you know, it would make sense for me to continue with this and just get it out of the way. Not that I'm not enjoying it, because I am, but... I don't know, I'm in the mood for something else. There's the dust jacket. That's where I put him. I put him on top of my record player because I'm currently reading this. But, yeah, I don't know. I think I'm going to pick up at least one of these as well as continue to read Crown of Feathers. So, yeah. Good evening, friends. It is 5.38 and I just got home from work and I found my ColourPop package had arrived. So I thought I would show you guys what was in it, and I've already swatched them, so I'll show you, I guess, kind of what they look like. So, let's do this. So, I got a concealer and then three lipsticks and an eyeshadow palette that are all from the Zoella and ColourPop collection. So, yeah. So these are what they actually look like in the tube. You see there's two neutrals and a red. I love this red. It's a great orangey reddish color that it's probably going to be really good for summer. And then there's two nudes. One's more brown toned and the other is pinkish. And I swatched them on my hand. So the one in the center is a little one, which is the one in the middle right here. And then the red one is obviously that one. It's called Self Love Club. And then at me is this pinkish toned one. I think they're all beautiful. So that is what it actually looks like and this is what's inside. I love all of these colors. I think they are very wearable and pretty and just things I would re reach for on the daily. And I've swatched them on my hands so you can kind of see. I'll do a better job of this. <laughs> at another time, but I love this little coppery gold color. It's beautiful. And then on my other hand, you have these. This one on the bottom, that coppery color, I love it. But yeah, so that's what they look like. So now that I've done that, I think I'm gonna go grab a quick, quick shower before dinner and then after that I think I will either pop in the audiobook that I was listening to which was legendary yesterday that today during my lunch break and yeah either that or I'll be part of crown of feathers I'm not entirely sure yet but guess we'll find out hey guys so it's about nine o'clock ish at night and 
I've done nothing since I got home from work. I don't know, it's just been one of those days where I just didn't feel like <laughs> reading or really doing, you know, much of anything. So I just <laughs> did it. Um, I'm still at the same place in the Crown of Feathers, still like it. I just, today was a really long day and I just, I came home and I put on pajamas and I ate dinner and I watched some friends and did some YouTube. I did do some writing though. So, I mean, there's that. And also my one summer class I'm taking starts on Wednesday, which is tomorrow, technically. So, I don't know. Kind of toy with audio doing my first biology quiz, but I didn't. It's due on Friday, though, so I'll probably do it tomorrow or Thursday. But, yeah, I thought I would tell you that I've done pretty much nothing today except work. And, yeah, hopefully tomorrow will be better reading-wise, but I guess we'll find out. I really want to finish Crown of Feathers and um, Legendary this week. Which I think will be possible. Oh, I'm so excited to finally be reading Legendary. I love Julian and I'm really interested to see more of this Dante character. Because I think I see him quite a lot in fan art. Like when people post it on Instagram. But I don't know much else other than that. So yeah. But I hope you guys have had a wonderful Tuesday. And I will catch you tomorrow.